I think it was just a miracle that we came across him, and it was, it was great to help him. We are learning for the first time tonight about a dramatic rescue unfolding near Strawberry Reservoir. Now, imagine finding anything in conditions like these. Blowing snow, high winds, basically whiteout conditions. And yet, somehow, Salt Lake County man spotted a trucker well off the road in desperate need of help. New special, Sandra Adams spoke with both the men tonight for the story you're seeing only on KSL. Well, Mike, really wild how this all unfolded and it seems like very fortunate, extremely hazardous conditions and the guy we talked to just happened to be in the right place to see that something was wrong. When the snow piles up, there's no better rock than a snowmobile. It started snowing very, very hard. And on Friday, Tyler Mahoney was on this one and the weather put everyone to the test. We came across dozens and dozens of people that had slid. US 40 was a nightmare near Strawberry Reservoir. I've been in bad driving conditions before, but nothing like this. After pulling off the road in whiteout conditions, he saw a goalie. And down in that goalie was a huge tanker tipped over on its side, and that's how we came across him. Mahoney says the truck driver was in bad shape and soaked in crude oil. Hypothermic, he was past the point of shivering, and he was to the point where he said he just wanted to go to sleep. In these conditions, there was little time to think. I just pulled the windshield out and then kicked it out to the point where we could get him out the front of the truck through the windshield. Getting the man up the hill from this spot was going to be a challenge, except for that snowmobile. I just pushed on the gas full throttle and just barely made it up onto the road to where we could get back. That's how we got him out. <laughs> Mahoney drove the man back to a warm truck until first responders arrived and never thought he'd see the trucker again. How are you, Tyler? Good. And then came the video call. Without you, I wouldn't have made it. Kent Ashton told Mahoney he was certain he saved his life. Yeah. I would have probably frozen that truck. Without promptings and getting me going, I would have gave up. I was just glad that we found you. You were OK for the, for the time being, and we were able to get you out of there. When the snow was at its worst, Mahoney and his snowmobile were at their best. That, that was quite the snowmobile ride. <laughs> it was. Making a difference for a man in need. Well, I appreciate it. I really do. It's awesome to be part of that. Well, the trucker told us he was going very slow, still found himself in that situation. And by the way, the ride, once he got to first responders, wasn't easy at all. Apparently, one ambulance got stuck, and it took two ambulances and a couple hours just to get back to Heaver. Back to you. He made the rescue seem a lot easier than what it was. You know it wasn't that easy at all. Good for him, though. No.